Hi everyone, welcome back to Kelly in China with the vlogs. I'm here with Miss Miss Kitty Cat Kibun. Hi Kibun, say hello. So she's actually starting to warm up to me where she's more or less sitting on my lap now. So I think that I have been enslaved by this cat. Ow! Her claws are very sharp. <laughs> what the hell, dude? If you don't know me, I am an expat English teacher living and working in China. I've just recently moved to China in 2022 of November. And I will be working here for the next couple of years as an English teacher exploring and checking out what China is like to live in as an expat. So I haven't explored the city as much as I would like to. Like I want to see more of the city. I want to go to like every station to see what's there because I know it's a different vibe at every single station. So today we'll go on an adventure. We'll stop off at a couple of stations and see what's in these areas. Um, it's pretty cold today. So like my lips are getting very dry and my skin is gonna, gonna become a little bit dry. Um, so bear with me, I moisturized. I put my sunscreen on already. So let's see how the day goes and I'm excited to see what we can find today. All right, let's go. <laughs> to check out the area but I actually as soon as I got out of the metro station they have a slope instead of stairs or they have stairs and a slope but the slope I didn't really see it and I didn't really know it was there and I literally slid down the slope I smashed my phone screen I cut my hand and I had to go and find a pharmacy that was open but none of them were open nobody even helped <laughs> thank you and I literally am um, cut and bruised so I'm gonna continue this and see you later in the vlog what did I learn from this experience? Is that I cannot be blasting my headphones to Montelay by Ashley Park one minute because the next minute I will end up flat on my ass and it's my own fault and nobody is gonna come and save you, girl. So like, you know, just be aware of your surroundings at all times. Make sure that you are aware. Kind of take these distractions away from you and just be a little bit more present in the moment. <laughs> On that note about being more present, something that I am doing now is I'm taking a detox, especially from social media, from anything that kind of gives me short bursts of dopamine throughout the day, whether that being listening to music, whether that being little things throughout the day that do make me feel like I'm receiving that joy from doing that little action, like scrolling on my Instagram all day or looking through countless videos on YouTube or something like this. I feel like it distracts me from being present in the moment. So I have started like journaling. I've started getting my mental health back into a good condition for myself because my screen time last week was nine hours. And like nine hours out of the day, like I'm wasting those hours. I could be doing it on something more productive and more active and something that actually benefits me as a person. So I'm taking a detox from these channels and from being obsessed and addicted to these types of things because I feel like it's gonna be better for me to have that long dopamine response from something else that's gonna make it last longer rather than having these short bursts. And before you come for me and say that I'm on my phone all the time because I'm literally like vlogging and recording myself, I don't have a camera yet. So once I do get my camera, I'll be able to balance my time more effectively and start to like do things that's gonna give me a little bit of joy in different ways rather than just like waking up in the morning and blasting music like what I was doing before I do do sometimes because it does give me that burst of energy but I feel like I need to balance it more effectively where I'm doing my affirmations in the morning and reminding myself that I am enough so then throughout the day like it makes me feel more like I have more like a productive day rather than I feel like I'm just wasting it on things that don't need to have my energy like there's so many distractions and I don't want to be distracted anymore like for example, this picture here, like the reason that I painted this picture is because it's the Pokemon that's related to knowledge and it also relates to emotions. So the colors represent different emotions that I go through throughout the day. And I have to realize that, you know, like life is like a balloon and we're just floating on this balloon filled with the emotions. So why not ride that balloon into something more positive and something more productive that will make you feel like you are relaxed and you feel like you're balanced. 
I know this looks so industrial, but I don't have any pictures to put up here at the moment. So I thought that I would kind of decorate it with like a Chinese New Year vibe. Got these like red letter packets that they gave me from the, from the mall that I went to the other day. They're pretty cute, I like it. But obviously I'm going to change this and make it more productive because this is giving jail, sweetie. So it is almost 2 p.m. and I gotta go and meet one of my friends. Actually, I met this person online. So she's a friend of my sister's friend. Um, and she's been living in Shenzhen for almost like four years now, I think. So I'm gonna go and catch up with her. We're gonna have some lunch, gonna have some milk tea together and just hang out and explore. The thing I love about meeting people online, especially like online friends, is that I feel like when we meet, it's like the same person or it is like the same vibe. Like a lot of my friends, if not all of them, I've met online through social media and through Instagram, TikTok, whatever. And we became really good friends and I still keep in touch with these people to this day. So I'm gonna go and catch up with her and then I'll catch up with another friend later. We're gonna go for some maybe Korean or Chinese food. Let's see what the vibe is. And yeah, we're just gonna hang out, have a good time. So come along with us and let's see where we go. Quick outfit change and we're ready to go. So let's go. <laughs> But they do have good one. arrived home thank you so much to my two new friends stephanie and travis for showing me such an amazing vibe to the city i'm very grateful so thank you so much it was so much fun and i'm excited that i could see a little bit more and experience what it's like to live here in shenzhen as an expat so thank you again Thank you again for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal, the link is on screen now. If you would like to follow my Instagram, I've also popped that on the screen for you here. And thank you again so much for everyone for your love and support. I'm really having a lot of fun making these vlogs. And I will see you in the next one. This is Kelly in China, signing out.